Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You yeah, are welcome to today's class. Uh, I want to believe we have all gone through some of our video, the classes that we heard in the past. Now I got some messages yesterday that uh, some some of our people couldn't open the video. So because of that, we have resorted to to link those videos with our YouTube so that uh, you can easily download it and uh, and listen to to the class. So at least with our YouTube, you should be able to to download the the lecture without any issue and as you are trying to download your uh, the lecture from the youtube please endeavor to like our page endeavor to like our page this lecture is free this class is free we are just we just want to train people so that uh, people will be able to have uh, knowledge about how html uh, works how html can be used to develop a web a web uh, website and that is why we are doing this training free of charge. We are not collecting anything. And the moment we finish this one, whatever the condition for the next lecture or for the next uh, application, it will be it will be set here too. So please, once you get to our YouTube page, as you are opening the, the video, the lecture, please, enable to like our page. Try to like our page. Subscribe to it and like our page. So today we are looking at the we want to be looking at uh, HTML list. We want to look at HTML list. And uh, what is HTML list? How does it work? HTML list is a tag. It's, it's HTML tag that allow a web developer to group a set of uh, related items. You want to group a set of related items together. So that is when you make use of the HTML list. So let me quickly open the word where I can type something so that. Uh, You'll be able to see it. We are looking at a HTML list. HTML list. As usual, I want to make it a bold so that you can see it. So, this is HTML list, and like I said, it's one of the HTML tag that allow you as a web developer to be able to. To group a set of uh, related uh, items, you want to group set of related items. That is what the list is all about. And uh, the simple tag for the HTML list is a uh, list. So that is the list. So that is the the, the, that is the simple the, the simple uh, syntax for the HTML. List. We use the we use the list tag to list whatever whatever items related items whether orderly or in orderly so we can use list to list them on our page and in most cases when you open the web address you see the list of items that are in form of bullets you see some list of items that are as the number either roman uh, roman figure or the the decimal so whatever you see there you see that on the page so what was used what is used to list all those things the tag that was used to list all those things is the list uh, tag. So, and in our list tag, we want to. So, let's uh, quickly look at uh, some of the example of the list tag. Before we go to list tag, there are three major types of uh, list tag. We have three types types of uh, list uh, tag. List uh, tag. We have three types of list tag. The first one is a ordered list. We have ordered list. Ordered list. The second one is a unordered list. Unordered list. Unordered list. Unordered list. While the third one is a HTF description list. We call it description list. Description list. So those are the three major lists we have in uh, in HTML that work with HTML list tag. So and uh, each of these types has their own syntax. 
So the way you make arrange, and, we, uh, and in each of these setup, we can also have the nested. We can have nested list. We can have a nested nested list. Depend on how you want it. We can have the nested list. So when you want to have another list, order a particular list. Say for instance, we have ordered list now. We under 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 our ordered list, we can we can have a we can have a on ordered list. On ordered list, under the ordered list, or on ordered list, we can have on ordered list a form of nested. If it's come a form of nested under the ordered list, we can also have a ordered list under the on ordered list. We can also have ordered list. Ordered list in form of nested to under the unordered uh, list. So, so it depends on how you want to arrange the items on your web page. So, whatever the method that you want to adopt to arrange your your items on the web page, probably you uh, as an industry, uh, as a, as a manufacturing industry, you have uh, different product lines. And you want to list all those all your products on your website so what you use to list it is the list uh, tag so now to, to to look at it when we talk of the ordered list in other ordered list we look at uh, we, we it is where you have a uh, you can have a uh, number one it is in order you can have a uh, number two you can have a uh, number three that is, is in order you can also have a uh, Roman figure one. You can have a Roman figure two. You can have a Roman figure three. So and so on and so forth. So with this, this is, all this one fall under the ordered uh, list. Now coming to the unordered list. Unordered list is where you have your bullet bullets. You want to list all those items with a form of a uh, like you want to use something to list it you want to use bullet just like uh, so when you have uh, there's some list that require you to number it serially that there, there, there's some list that doesn't even matter whether you number it serially or not it will still appear so that is that is that is it. so if you have this one you can have this one in our order you can we can, we can let's say this one is a first list you can say the first uh, item we can say this one second item we can say this one third item so and like this one too we can say first item first item we can say second item we can say third item so all this one they are in ordered list but when we have our ordered list we can have our ordered list without numbering it that is we can have an uh, or an uh, ordered uh, this is ordered list now let's um, okay this is uh, an ordered list uh, this is our uh, ordered list we can have another we can have an uh, item just item item and we have another one item you have another one item so it, it doesn't really matter whether it has to follow a particular sequence no once you it dep once you stick to a particular type of a list that you want to use it will be the one to determine the the items under it say for instance you want you have uh, this item now we can make it a uh, mango mangoes we can make it orange we can make it orange and we can make it a uh, banana so it is not it is all this one falls under under or ordered list so so that is how that is how the list works in a in a html so like i said the other time i said we also have the description list we can have our description list 
So the, the description is when you want to describe a particular item, it helps to describe a particular item. So that is what the description list is, is, all, all, is, is all about. You have an item that you want to des uh, describe. After you have listed the item, take for instance now, you have uh, under the description list here, we have uh, orange. Orange. And you want to describe this orange. You can describe the orange that uh, this is uh, a red orange or whatever, or red orange. So you are, you are describing it. That is what the description list is all about. You can also have a, you can also have a, a banana, banana. So and you have the description. You can also have the description of the banana and say, okay, well, this banana is sweet. So you, you are you are just uh, you are trying to describe that particular item. That is what. Uh, description list is all about and when we are talking of the list list items there are some things that are very important that we want to look at there are some things that uh, are very very important that we want to look at now when we say on that is the the, the sentence particularly so under this uh, ordered list you want to list your ordered list the center is a uh, u u l that is that is the syntax. That is the tag for that particular ordered list. So when you have a, the moment you have UL, you have already defined that particular item as ordered list. So under it now, you cannot come out with the list of the items. So we, the li, UL, UL, UL simply means, simply means, on ordered, uh, on uh, ordered list. So we also have another one. We have uh, L I. We have L. We have uh, L I. L I is also a tag too. It's also a tag. We have L I, which is also a tag. So the L I tag now, what it does is uh, is the one that we use to list the items. So the moment you have opened you have opened your 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 tag with an uh, unordered list and you have to close it with an unordered list too so in between the opening tag of the unordered list and the closing tag is where you have your list item this is a list uh, item list items so just as the way we also have a uh, ordered list just as the way we also have a uh, ordered list so we can also come to other under the other ordered list. We also have it the same thing. This is a uh, that is ordered list is on ordered list now. We have a uh, UL into bracket. Then we also have uh, and we, we list it LI into bracket. So that is the two tags that we use to display the items on the on our web uh, page. So let's uh, so let's look at it on our using our visual uh, visual studio code so let's open our visual studio code from where we start that time visual studio code let's open it and uh, yes we are trying to open this now. So there's one thing I want I want to do. I want to create a file. I want to create a file under this class. And we name that file list tag. I think we, let's just try to to work with to follow it like that. So I want to create a new file. And we let's name that new file list list uh, dot uh, html. So now we have it now. List does HTML because it's, it. So this one we show that uh, we are working with the list. So under this one now, I'm very sure we all know how to how to how to how to open our skeleton uh, HTML skeleton. So that God, that is what we'll be using. Whatever you want to use, you still if everything falls under that HTML uh, skeleton, we have uh, HTML. 
ml we have a uh, add we have add we have type 2 we have type 2 we have type 2 and under this type 2 list tag we're working with we working with list tag let's say working with list tag so that is our title so now this is our ad ad so working with a uh, list uh, so now order this one now we go to the body and we go to the body so with this now our sm skeleton is already there so the next thing we do we want to look at how to list some of the items so let's uh, let's look at the unordered list first let's look at the unordered list like i told you the last time we can have a let's say we have a paragraph we have paragraph uh, unordered unordered list so we have that one in our paragraph then we come here so now like i said we have to open a tag for for on other list you say uh, un then you close it you close it and like i said you know i said it the last time that when you the ua will simply which simply means on other list so under that particular ua we can have uh, the list item now you open this one again and you say the list item you want to list item now list item so on that list item now what to let's list a uh, orange 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 so we'll come under it again the next one is list is still list item list item but we are listing the item now mango mangoes orange mango then we are still listing in it so we we'll come down here we say the we say the banana banana we come down here so banana so we say banana banana so So now, as we are, we have it now, let's add another. Let's add another one. List item. Let's say the purple. Let's say purple. So now, we this is the list. Uh, we have already listed all the items now under the unordered list. So what we call we can, we can run it. Let's run it and see what is going to come out. Because uh, like like I said last time. If you are running an, an a, a particular application for the first time, it will ask whether you are using Chrome or uh, Edge or whatever the browser. So in, in the case of mine, I'm using Chrome. So, so can you see now? It has listed it on ordered list. So as we are seeing, you can see orange, mangoes, banana, purple. So it has already listed it. So this is a uh, on ordered uh, list. That is how to list uh, items on the web page so you can also so after that this one now you, you can let's say uh, we can even make this one bold or we make it a uh, strong like i told you last time you can you can make it a uh, strong strong you can make it strong you can make it strong and bring this one so that at least it will look a uh, let's make it strong and let's run it. So let's run it and see what is uh, what is going to happen. Can you see it's strong now? It's bold. So the unordered list is bold. So we have listed this one now. So let's uh, quickly look at the the ordered list. So after after this one, we can come down here. 
and say like I told you, I told you the other list too, the other list, you close it. So and other list is zero L, on other list U L. So under this one now, we can have it. Let's say we have uh, we want to say open it L one L I list one first item first uh, item we can have it like that we have a list two we have a second item we have list three we have a third third item I think you are following me I think you are following the what I'm doing so let's say list four there's a list four a uh, fourth there's a fourth uh, item now so with this let's run it and see what is going to happen let's run it and see what is going to happen so you can see that uh, the ordered list itemizes it serially, sequentially. No, it has already numbered it from number one, two, three, four. But on ordered list, use bullets to identify each of the list. Why do you also want to use a number to identify each of the list? So that is the that is how to list item. And uh, like I said, we can also have nested. We can have a nested, just like as I as I, I said last time. We have a. This is a. This is a. On ordered list now. On that on that, on that this on ordered list, so we can see we have a ordered list. Let's say we want to have a ordered list on order this on ordered list. I think we understand what I'm talking about. We have an ordered list and want to have a ordered order the list order the list now order the list it means uh, now we have uh, this one now uh, under this on order the list we can have uh, we can we can have our order list order the list here uh, let's cut it and bring it here uh, and, and put it here uh. so we have already uh, we have we have already identified the orange as on ordered list and under that orange now we want to have a ordered list under it that is what you call the nested it is called a nested nested so as it is said we have a we can have it here and break the ordered list a these are the ordered list we can bring our ordered list here and bring it down here and bring it down here and bring it down here so we want to with this now we are trying to to make a we have our orange as on ordered list and under that orange we have ordered list so that is what we are trying to define here so now the same thing the second one we can have a we can have a ordered list ordered list under this uh, under this uh, on on ordered list so we can also have it here too we can also have it here too i think you understand what i'm talking about so that is what we call nested list. So you can nest, you, you can you, you can make your other list to be nested. You can make your another list to be nested. When you want to have other list under the another list. So let's run it and see what is going to happen. Let's run it and see what is going to happen. Let me close the first one that I I opened. Can you see what I'm talking about? So you have made this particular 
orange, mango, banana, purple, they are on ordered list. And each of these on unordered list, you are trying to define an ordered list. So you can have it now. You can have uh, in other orange, maybe you have a uh, first orange, you have a uh, blue orange, we have red orange, you have green orange, you have a uh, purple orange. So whatever you can make that one to be ordered. So under the unordered list, just as you can also have the unordered list under the ordered list. So I think we, we, we understand what I'm talking about. So that is how to list the items, to list the items on the web page. So, uh, so the, the last one I want to I want to quickly look at is the the, the other one, which is uh, the which is uh, STM description list. We can have a STM description list. Yes, of course, we can have a description list. So, now to have. HTML description list. Let, 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 let's look at this. We, we what the tag for the HTML description list is DL, which simply means description list. DL, which simply means description list. Order the description list. We, we, are, we have listed our description list there. Let me quickly go there. Yes, this the, the, the description. The, the 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 tag the tag for description league is a uh, what d n that is description list it has open tag and closing tag then when you want to list the item of the description list it is when you now use a uh, d t what d t that is what you use to list the item of the description list so the, 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 the items inside that particular description list is what, test for instance, the description list here now is orange. And you want to, to, for you to be able to describe it, this is a red orange. So this is where you have a DT. So, so let's quickly look at uh, how it works on, uh, on our page. So here, we have, uh, let's open the tag DL, we close it, we close it, and other under this one, we have a DT that description. We order this one, we have DT, 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 we close it. So now, in our DT, let's say we have a orange, orange. So now, to now describe the orange now, we want to describe the orange. So what is are we going to give to the orange? That is where you have a DD. You have a DD. We want to give the description to the orange. That is where you have DD. Then you cannot say this orange, this orange is red. It's sweet. We can say this orange is sweet. We have already described it. So the tag for it. So if we want to have another one, we can come here to and say DT, DT, we are, we are opening it. We have a banana, banana. Then other DT, we can have it and say DD, we open it, this, Banana is ripe. This banana is is sweet too. I said that this banana is sweet. So let's quickly look at uh, that is the description we have given to it now. Let's quickly run it and see how it's going to look like. Can you see what I'm talking about now? This is the orange, this is the description. This is the banana, this is the description. So those are the three major uh, tags, three major descriptions that we, we work on in our list. We look at the uh, unordered list, 
we look at the ordered list then we look at the description list so when so the all this thing we use we use it to to display our items our product on our web page so that is what this uh, description list is uh, is all about i i, I don't know if uh, if we are all getting it please i want to believe we are getting it so i want to introduce you to to diff element i want to introduce you to diff element diff element division element let's quickly look at it let's open let's open another file let's open another file and say division the division division uh, oh let's say let's just use the tag diff diff uh, dot html so let's use diff dot html so i don't want us to start uh, wasting it of our talent let's quickly let's quickly look at uh, let's quickly copy the let's quickly copy from the down to the body here and put it there let's quickly put it here let's work with a uh, diff 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 tag so this uh, body we, we have it already we have it already then we have a uh, st we have a uh, HTML. So now, this is let, this is the the skeleton. So we want to work with the div. We want to work with the div. What does this stands for? It stands for division. This div stands for division. Div is, is an element. It, it's an element in uh, HTML. So and it's often we use it to group a particular session within a web page. We, we use the div. Div, uh, div, div elements. So div elements. So the tag is a uh, div tag. Let's look at. Let, let me just quickly do this. Do this one so that we can understand it very well. Let's say the boy is good all the time. Now we say the boy is good all the time. Let's assume we want to group this particular aspect. Boy is good. Or we want to group he is good or. So we want to group this particular aspect. So for us to be able to group it, we use a tag that is called a division tag. That is div tag. So what we just need to do is after we can, what we, we put the div here, div. We put the div a div tag then we close it then where we want to we put it here to div tag and we close it so by the time we run this particular by the time we run this particular uh this particular tag it will come it will it will highlight this particular aspect that is in between the, this or this element that is in between the div but in most cases, before we be able to apply div in our website, we use div, we define div under the CSS. We define div under the style, uh, style, cascade style sheet. That's where we define it. So by, by the way we get to the CSS, we'll be able to, to know what, how to define it very well. But with the little example I'm going to do with you now, for us to be able to make use of the div, we should have it at the back of our mind that we can only define div. We can only define it from the CSF, from the style, from the style sheet, then and apply it. So in a situation whereby we have a web page and we want to divide some aspect, we want to group some aspect. Probably in our in, in our own page, we have a place to group, we use div to group it. We have another aspect under that same home page to group, and we want to give it get different color. So that is where we use a uh, division element to do it. So, and for us to be able to do that, like, like I said, 
I said we use a div to group the session of a particular web page. What we use that is what we use the div element for. And like I told you, it has uh, the own uh, it has the center, just like what I've uh, written here. So let's quickly look at how to, how we can how this can work on our on our web page. Let's come here and quickly go back to now. We have uh, our title working with a uh, div tag. We are, we have done that. So uh, let's come to the body. Let's come to the body. In most cases, mostly when we want to define your CSS, well, I told you that uh, you use div, you define the div within the context of the CSS. So uh, when you want to, in most cases, now when you want to define it, you use your div under the head. You use the CSS under the what? Under the head. So that is, let, 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 let's see what I'm talking about. You can also define it under the body, but it doesn't matter. We can define it under the body. So if we want to define the diff under the body, we can, let, let's see what is going to happen. We want to use the style. 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 Now. So that is where we want to define our division. So whatever we are defining here is what we are going to use to, is what, what our division is going to use for the implementation by the time we run up the application. So it's going to implement on whatever we are defining here. I, I want to believe we are getting this one. So under this div, we can say the div, because we want to define it. We, we want to define the div now. Div, uh, we want to define the div now. We can have it like this. Let's define the background color. Background color. We want to define our background color. Mind you, whenever you are defining your background color, it must end with colon, semicolon. Your background color must end with semicolon. So if you don't put that semicolon to it, as far as the CSS, it will not run because we are trying to. We are, if you look at what we are doing now, we, are, we want to define what will be implemented on our div division now within the context of the CSS. Because what I'm defining here is a style sheet. Well, I've, 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 it, because in the CSS, it also has the opening tag and the closing tag. So that is what I am trying to, to, to define here. So we can say, let's say we want to use a, let's, let, let's use this color. I like a purple, why is purple? Uh, okay, let's use a, this. So we, are, we have said our banger color to be, to be this. So we, are, we can close it now. Now let's now go back to our div. So we, we are going back to our div under the bot under under the. We are still under the body. But I would have prefer we define this one under our. Let's define this one under the under the head. Let's define this one under the head. Let's define this one under the head. So let's now come to the under the let, let's come to the body and define our our div. So under the body now we want to define our div. Let's say the we want to have a paragraph or h i is one. Let's see is one so that uh, let's see is one we want to define our div uh, division division tag tag usage so let's define like that so let's come down so that uh, when it display it, it has something to display it under the under the head so under this one now let's say let's say we have a uh, like what i wrote the other time the boy is good all the time so the boy is good all the time so we have defined this one now so let's now come here and include our div he is good all the time because we have already defined our div so let's, let, 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 let me just put it out so that we can implement it let's have something like this and we have div 
and we close it and then uh, we bring let's bring this one let's bring this one cut and bring it in between our div in between our div and let's run it and see what is going to come out because it's another this thing starts to can you see what i'm going to talking about because i've already the division tag the boy is not under the div he is good all the time he is good all so and if you look at my description now when i was when, when i was defining it under my css i said uh, the background color of the div should be purple if you look at it very well I define the background color under my CSS here to be Bob I define, I said the division now. It's just the way you want to use the class. The, the, the division, the class, in most cases you will use them under the style sheet. So the div, you, you have to define it very well because you can be able to apply it outside in your HTML uh, body. So I said this, this application should make use of the div. And anything that is within that particular div is to give the background color to be blue violet. And I close it. And when you are opening, when you are defining the div, you have to use the parentheses to open it, to open it, and you also use the, the same parentheses to close it. And when you are defining the declining the background, at the end of the background, it must end with a semicolon. So what I've already de defined between the opening tag of the style. And the close start of the style is, is CSS uh, uh, code. So anything that, that falls within this particular aspect is CSS code. But when it is outside this one, is HTML code. But we are trying to integrate the CSS code and apply it on our HTML code. That is what we are just trying to do here. So you use the div tag to create a division, to create a separation between with uh, in your in your web page so by the time you have it we, we, we can send this, this background color to any other color and you, you see that it will change it we can we, and we can we can as well define the text color we can define the text color too we can say the text color test we can say the text color test test color we can set the test color we want to test the correction color we can we can we can pick any of the okay let, let's put this one to to blue and let's uh, run it Let me, let me close this one. This one is opened. Let me run it. Can, can, if, because of this particular color now, this test color, if we remove the background color now, you see what the test color is going to, is going to be break out. Okay, let's, let, let's, uh, let's do something. Let's do something. Let's say, let's use a, let's use this color. And let, we, can, we can remove this one. So this color now, even not because of the background, what well, the background is, is covering the color of the text. But if you look at the text here, you see that the text is bolder than the other text, the boy and the time. Is good or is better than these two lines? So that is how to you want to create a division. We want to create a division, and if you want to put everything under div, there is no problem. We can also come here. If you want to put everything under div, fine. You, you can put everything under div. You, you instead of putting. Okay, let, let, let's have this one again. We can put everything under div. Let's say div. Div. We close it. We can put everything other other way. I 
um, for God. Yes, I am for God. We want to put everything other. We want to put this one other other div. Then let's say break. It. Let's break it. Let's run it. See, I am for God. So whatever you are putting inside that div, and whatever the color you are giving it to, because we we'll use the color to I mark to to to, to I mark it to mark that particular area that you want to create. You have created the visa for. So that is the essence of a division tag. I think uh, we don't want to waste most of our time. Let's uh, stop at this particular place so that we can make a revision of what we have done. Next time we are still going to look at, we have not finished the, the diff uh, class. We are still going to look at uh, the diff as a container, how we can create, we, we are going to create a, a, a complete page and see how we can divide it. So after that, uh, we move to the uh, HTML class attribute. So from there, we try and round up some other area before we round up the HTML class. And I want you to know something that this particular class is an elementary class. You can see register for the for the advanced class. So after the class, you can register for the advanced class with a very token, with token. We as well, some of you that because we with this now, I want to believe that uh, you have the elementary knowledge of HTML. So by the time we finish this uh, this one, you can want to advance your knowledge. You can register for the advanced class with a token of less than between five thousand five and ten thousand naira. You, you you register for it and you have the deep knowledge of uh, the deep knowledge and understanding of the HTML. So for now, we want to round up the class. Please, this video is going to be sent to you on uh, YouTube. So please, as you are opening our YouTube page. Make, and try to like it, like it, so that uh, as we are helping you, you can help also help our page. So like our page, watch it, subscribe to our page, and you enjoy our page. I wish you all the best. Thank you and God bless.